Good morning. I'm Matt Morgan with Vance Publishing, and here is your corn report for Friday, January 14th. U.S. corn futures pushed against a 30-month high Thursday as the market tried to slow demand for limited supplies and encourage farmers to plant more acres this spring. March corn contracts climbed 11 cents, settling at 6.42 per bushel, 45 cents above where it started the week. The national cash corn price improved by 11 cents to 6.28 per bushel, 26 cents above this year's average average high. Cash prices in, ch- in central Illinois, Chicago, and Toledo all increased by 12 cents to 618, 605, and 630 per bushel respectively, which were new highs across the board. The national corn basis widened by a penny to 15 under the March futures. We had a chance yesterday to catch up with Bruce Blythe, our business editor at the CME Group, to get his opinion on the corn market. This is Bruce Blythe with the Vance Ag Network at CME Group in Chicago. It's the afternoon of Thursday, January 13th. Bull markets continue to roar ahead here today. You had sharp gains in corn, soybeans, and wheat, with March corn futures up 11 and one half cents to settle at six dollars and 42 and one half cents a bushel. Price got as high as 6.49 and a half today, which is the highest for a nearby contract since July 2008. Uh, This primarily is spillover from yesterday when USDA released several key reports. Uh, They lowered their estimates for last year's corn and soybean harvest more than expected, and they cut uh, supply estimates for later this year. But by the time we get to September, U.S. corn supplies are expected to be the lowest in 15 years, just in time for harvest. So, you know, that's raising concerns whether we'll see sufficient plantings this spring to keep pace with this escalating demand and weather of course always a question as well. The gravel bag analysts deemed the USDA numbers extremely bullish for corn. They noted that ethanol demand is just showing no sign of slowing down and they think it might actually be higher than what the USDA is estimating currently at 4.9 billion bushels which is already a record. They think it could be another 100 million bushels higher. Livestock analysts Steve Meyer and Len Steiner report today they, they think we're you know eventually going to see some rationing among the livestock side as you know feed costs continue to escalate and, and send many producers into the red. This has been your corn report for Friday, January 14th. Have a great weekend.